Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use flexible double pointed needles. This is Haya Haya's flyers. And these are the sharp version. So the tips are really sharp, which is really good for picking up your stitches. So right here, I'm using a US 2.5, which is three millimeters. If you struggle with double pointed needles, I think this is a great alternative. All right, so let's get started. So these are the sharps. You can see that the tip is pretty sharp, which makes it nice to pick up your stitches. So they're just like double pointed needles, except they bend in the middle, <laughs> which is nice. It can be a little awkward at first, but you'll get used to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cast on some stitches on my first needle. So I'm going to grab my second needle and start casting on the remaining stitches. So I've got my stitches casted on. So you wanna make sure that your stitches are not twisted. I'm going to slide my needle down so that the stitches are on the needle. And then I'm going to pull this one out so that the stitches are on the cord. With the third needle, we're just going to start knitting in the round. So I like to make sure that this needle is not in my way. So I've slid the stitches onto the cord. I like the sharps because it helps you pick up your stitches, makes it easier. I do have the Haya Haya circular needles in the large size and those are steel only because I don't really need sharp needles to work with such bulky yarn. So now I'm ready to work this side. I'm going to slide my needle down so that the stitches are on the needle. And then I'm going to pull this one out so that the stitches are on the cord. It's very similar to the magic loop method. So now that I've got this one pulled out, I'm going to grab this needle and I'm going to start knitting from this needle here. Okay, so you're going to just keep repeating that in the round. I'm going to knit a few more rounds and show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is what it looks like after a few rounds. So you basically just want to continue. It's just like double pointed needles, except you have um, a cord and you don't need as many needles as you do working with double pointed needles. Definitely a whole lot better in my experience than the traditional double pointed needles. So instead of using the straight double pointed needles, you have these needles that bend in the middle. So it's flexible. Um, what it reminds me more of is knitting with a long circular needle and using the magic loop method. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. I'll see you next time.